Hi and welcome to The Uncertain. This is another game that I only saw recently on Steam and I'll go in blind. In the middle of the 22nd century, humanity became extinct as a result of deadly wars. However, the robots created by humans turned out to be very self-sufficient on their own. Artificial intelligence continued to evolve, which allowed robots to build their own society from the ruins of the past civilization. Each robot found a field of work that best suited their abilities. Slowly but steadily, they created a new civilization on Earth. They rightfully avoided past human mistakes, but there was one problem. The more progress they made, the more they looked and acted like humans. I am a robot. Model RT217NP. Primary mission unknown. I am not designed for physical exercise. I am certainly not capable of construction activity, but I am very skillful with electronics. I have set myself a task. I search the remains for electronic devices and make use of them to design different mechanisms that are useful and efficient. Humans, we replace them. It took them ages to achieve what we have done in just a few years. We have formed a perfect society. Robots will not repeat the destructive human mistakes of the past. We are rational and logical. We do not fight in wars, and we cannot get ill. By replacing humans, we interrupted the self-destructive cycle of these intelligent, but highly aggressive former inhabitants of the Earth. But it is going to take decades to reconstruct the world that they destroyed. Then, our robot race will flourish under the guidance of our creator, the USS Corporation. Our world is not perfect yet. We are short on many resources, and we can count only on ourselves, but this is temporary. Most robots need to be repaired very often, but not me. I am very efficient at taking care of myself. What an ominous name. brought one battery this time, though it might be compatible with the radio. I need to find a second battery. It was with my tools. This module contains spare parts and items I might use. A damaged data disk that I found yesterday morning. Perhaps I can restore some information from it. See a toolbox here. That's curious that there's a bed. I would think that he sleeps in this. 
The dock station's purpose is to recharge the batteries and update the built-in software of the robots. However, I made some changes in its firmware to avoid updates. I am now able to develop independently. I do remember from the trailer that they said something about that there is some secret that the robots cooperation is keeping from them. So this might actually be very valuable if he doesn't get updates. It's funny, it doesn't comment what this is. When I first walked into this building, I found human bones in the bed. I placed them in the incinerator. This compartment contains textiles. Humans covered their bodies with it. The purpose of this is unknown to me. Oh, you see that? 35 millimeters. It's a game on my wish list. It's... I don't know whether it's from the same company, though. I found this radio receiver a few days ago, but there were no batteries. I have no use for it. I wonder if there are any radios left broadcasting in the world. I need to find a second battery. I have only one battery. I need to find the second one. It has to be located in the building. I took this device from a plant that was guarded, and I went unnoticed. There were no security systems, despite two police robots. No, they do not fit in here. They need to be inserted into the radio. Now I have two batteries. I can try to turn the radio receiver on. No power. I'm going to turn it on. I think we still need to tune it to a station, but it doesn't look like it can turn any of these. Oh, what is that? There. Thank you. 
then this heroic feat will remain in our hearts forever. Don't let the fallen give their lives in vain. Join the army, protect your homeland, save your freedom, traditions, and... A small group of people controlled the masses using such words. I do not understand how a simple human speech could have urged people to participate in war. It would be more logical to reach a compromise by means of negotiations. It's not like you as a single person can get your state to negotiate when they absolutely want to go to war. This little symbol here um, makes it look like I should get that card. This is the construction robot who ordered the plasma cutter. I will answer. Hello? RT, this is TX27. It was difficult to find your contact information. You were supposed to have finished the plasma cutter two days ago. Why have we not received it yet? I am sorry, but it took more time than I had estimated to find all the required components. This information is irrelevant. The date of exchange has been fixed. You should have brought me the cutter and received an enhanced battery in return. So one of the things that they boasted for the, for the sales of this game was that you get to make choices and they matter. But right now I have no clue what is going on and why I should maybe keep silent or not. This is my fault. I will finish the cutter as efficiently as possible. Your excuses are irrelevant. We cannot proceed with our work without this cutter. We need it for building metal structures. While you free robots waste your energy on useless and ineffective actions, we are engaged in construction and restoration of the city, which will strengthen our society. We can wait one more day. If you don't deliver the order in time, we will contact another specialist, and your professional rating will be severely decreased. I will finish the work today and travel tomorrow morning. Good. Thank you. We will be waiting. I cannot fail in my task. Structure robots do very important work. I need to finish the cutter as quickly as possible. Inscribed paper is an old form of physical information collection and distribution. This storage technology is utterly obsolete. Sometimes I find documents with this type of information, which allows me to learn more about humans. Margaret, we are waiting for you downstairs. Margaret, an elderly woman left the table and headed for the stairs, slowly calling for a niece. She finally reached the girl's door and knocked. No one answered. Aunt Becca opened the door and saw that the girl was gone. The old woman just flung up her hands and said quietly, What a girl, she turned twenty but hasn't changed a bit. I'm over here, Aunt Becca, she heard a voice from downstairs. Where have you been, sweetheart? The lunch is getting cold, replied the aunt, hastily going down. I just wanted to see the garden for one last time. I'm flying away today, you know. As they went into the kitchen together, the old woman slightly hugged the girl and looked reproachfully at old Sam, who was sitting all alone at the table. He was peacefully eating his soup, which was still hot. See, the old man just couldn't wait and started without, without us, murmured she. Hey, I've only tasted one spoon, Uncle Sam got confused. Of course, one spoon. Half the plate is empty. Today is maybe the last day when we share a table with our girl. Don't pick on him, Auntie Becca. Margaret stood up. It was my fault that I ran away. Looks like it might be a script. Maybe the guy living here was um, an author.
Humans used it to save their precious resources. We have a lot in common. This is no time to rest. I need to do other things. Sometimes human art is so illogical. Why produce images that are not purely photorealistic? Because it's fun. I have a friend who's an artist. I guess he could explain this in detail. This analog device allows you to extract sound from the installed audio data carrier. Why did humans use such an inconvenient device when one can just do this? Because we didn't have this feature built into ourselves. This is an intercom, a high-powered desktop computer. I do not need to use its full capacity, but the internet is useful to communicate with other robots. Unfortunately, my design does not support wireless internet connection, so I had to use the computer. In a way, he's quite the loner robot. He doesn't get the same updates as everybody does, and he's not connected. Just like other robots might be. Ah. Just talking about firmware updates. Changes in this edition. Optimization of the stabilization system when the battery charge is at a low level. An error with the connecting to the USS Finder from a private network is corrected. Okay, so there's um, more nodes. I'll just skim through it quickly. A function that erases the daily logbook files. What would be the point of that? I'm already looking for clues as to what they're hiding from the other robots. Signal system for the detection of illegal objects is added. So what would be illegal objects? Okay, so he would actually have to receive an upgrade. Maybe we can even do that if we want to, but I'm kind of wary about that. Without knowing what's going on. Perhaps the intercom can read data that is not damaged. Just music. You know what? I wonder if there is some message hidden somewhere. I guess not, but I'll still listen to it.
and there was it no surprises here. Well, it was worth a try. It's a chat. Deborah and Michael. Okay, so Michael and Deborah were chatting and then she had to go because of her of someone coming, we don't know. Michael tried to contact her for two days afterwards and she never could get her. Wonder whether we will find out what happened. Okay, so that's code. trying to understand with that. Nah, I can't really say what's going on here. Something about remote remote messaging. Unity engine, that's exactly the engine that they're using for this game. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of in joke. That looks interesting. Oh, it's corrupted. Hmm. I was expecting to get some kind of clue from this, but so far I can't see the point. Maybe it'll come in handy later. This room is very strange. I never enter it. Bathrooms are scary. I need to calibrate the cutter using my data coder. Guess I need the batteries again. Now I can't pick up the radio anymore. Huh. Hopefully it'll still work. I need to calibrate the I would think that that is the cutter, the thing in the center of the circle. I found this saw on Brandon Street. <laughs> that sounds like the title of a song. Find pairs for icons to form square. Oh, I don't have to check, um, right, I don't have to find something that looks the same as something that adds to it.
Good, the cutter is now complete. Tomorrow morning, I need to go to the city and deliver it. I do not need the battery that they offer in payment, but it would be irrational to refuse. My battery charge is 12%. The most effective action I can take is to get fully charged on the dock station before the morning. I'll do that in a second. There's still stuff that I haven't checked out here. A guitar is a plucked string instrument with a wooden resonating body shaped in form of an eighth. You don't say. The water supply system ceased functioning many years ago. Can't continue in that direction. What's that? One thing that I need to check out is uh, whether we can do several saves here. No, you can't. So I'll have to live with the decisions I make. It's always nice. The dock station is not powered at the moment. I need to transfer power to it at the electric switchboard. It's always nice when you can just undo a bad decision. Right, where oh there is the switchboard. I connected the power line directly to the house, but it is not sufficient to provide energy to all of my equipment. I use an electric switchboard to distribute energy to the necessary systems. Looks like another minigame. Get rid of excess power at both sources. Excess power is displayed in yellow. Okay. So how do I do this? Idea what I've just done. Now the dock station is ready to use. The rain will not stop. It is fortunate my body is waterproof.
I just had to take a snapshot. For a long time, I tried to understand the purpose of this metal construction, but I failed to determine its practical use. Therefore, I conclude that this is an art object. I would think that our cutter should come in handy. I need to get inside, but I cannot open the gate here. This robot is badly damaged due to an accident. It is possible that it piloted this shuttle. I need more information about what occurred here. My touch will not make this robot functional. This looks like a storeroom. These wires may be useful. A lithium sulfur accumulator was common for older aircraft models. It applies standard voltage, but it is not suitable for robots due to the excess weight and dimensions. We use a more efficient portable version. This accumulator could help me revive the pilot, but it is not working. I need to find another one. I kind of wish that the robot would have a more emotional voice now. Somehow I miss human emotions here. It is obvious that this door leads into the hold of the shuttle. The red light must mean that it's locked. The door is locked. My observations indicate that it will not open from here. See? I'm good. computer is still functioning. Jailbreak detected. So the robot wasn't supposed to be flying this ship. Yeah, please disable alarm. Find the code first. <laughs> J 
Check hard drive device. Maybe the robot can tell us uh, what the code is. I'm currently trying to move the robot, but it's not doing anything. Oh right, I can't just walk up and down the stairs by myself. to the indicator, there is still some charge in the accumulator. It is possible that I can power it with the accumulator that I found. I know that we need the cable now. There. It's always a question of a way do you click to make it work. good idea what the numbers are for. Sounds like it's time for some brute forcing. this possible I knew it I knew that there had to be humans somewhere <laughs> 